and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing an unboxing of an item that I purchased from Fashion File. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So today I wanted to go ahead and unbox an item that I purchased from Fashion File. And it is a Louis Vuitton item. And the thing that I like about purchasing items from Fashion File is that they have a big variety of items that weren't available to me back when I started to like Louis Vuitton or things that they've just discontinued selling and I think it's really neat that you can put your items on a website and allow someone else to purchase them who never even had the opportunity to purchase them in the first place. And so typically you get your little white envelope from Fashion File. It has the only receipt that you really get one from their website. And it just says that the item is authentic and how much you paid for it. And basically that's all the receipt says. So this is the box that my item came in. And let's go ahead and open it. And the reason that I wanted to purchase this little item was because I wanted something to hang as a charm on my bag. And this is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I'll go ahead and put it on my bag so you all can see what it looks like. But this is a micro by Shapoo. And it is this little item. And I thought it was so cute when I saw it. I'm not sure how much this retailed for when it initially came out, but it was listed on the website for $775 and then it was discounted $80. So the purchase price for me was $695. And then of course you pay tax. But this item, I still have the tag on it, as you can see from Fashion File. And this was in very good condition, is how it was listed on the website. And not much fits in this little purse. In fact, it's, it's a little bit bigger, I would say, than my coin purse, but it looks like that. And let me see if I can... So this has a date code of CA4108. So it's made the 40th week of 2018. And this item was made in Spain. And so I had a really hard time finding the date code, but it was right in here. And it has kind of that little pattern that has black striping inside. And it does have some leeway here in the bottom, as you can see right here and on this side. So um, you can't fit too much in there. As you can see, it's not that much room. I would say it probably is meant for change or cash. And I'll compare it to my little coin purse but it did come in the box and with the dust bag, which I thought was really neat, which is here. And let me grab that coin purse. So here's my coin purse. And when you put them next to each other, you can see that this washapu is bigger in size. And We'll just put bottom to bottom. So there's bottom to bottom. And obviously it's a whole lot thicker, but I don't know that much more would fit in here than would fit in the coin purse. And so I was fortunate enough to find this coin purse, one of the trips that we took to San Antonio. But when I saw this, I really liked it because it has the little chain. Now the chain, you, it's a screw on key. So typically with the Louis Vuittons, they kind of have that little spring where you have to push it down and it comes up. This you have to unscrew for it to come down. 
and then you screw it back on like that. I know that not a lot of things would fit in here. It's not a functional piece. For me, it's a collector's item and also it's something that I wanted to use as a charm. Now, I think you could put cash in here, maybe even your ID would fit in here and you could use it as a little wristlet. Just hook that on and have it like that. Or you could add a chain to it and hook them both and just use it as a little purse that hangs from your outfit. I think you could also put this on a belt and that would look really cute. Uh, the back of this is solid black. It says Louis Vuitton Paris here. And again, on the inside, the fabric of the zipper is black. And then of course you have your gold brass. And this still had the little covering on it. So I haven't taken that off. So this was in very good condition. I mean, you don't see any scrapes or anything in the back. I really like the front of it. And so I'm gonna put it on my bag so that you can kind of see why I wanted this item. And I, when I saw it, I didn't know if it would work. I just thought, well, I don't know. That might be a little bit too big to have on my purse. But this on the go is a really good size. So I felt like it would be okay to put it on here. So I would want it with this side showing. And so basically that's kind of what it would look like. And as I mentioned, I thought it was a little bit too big for this, but looking at it, I feel like it will work out okay. When you're going through security, it'd be nice to have your ID in there, maybe some cash for snacks. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. I feel like I'll be able to use it functionally and I think it's the most adorable thing I have ever seen. And it does have Louis Vuitton on the hardware here and on the little zip part it says Louis Vuitton. I feel like there's a lot of ways that I'll be able to use this little bag. And I'm really happy with my purchase. I know that it seems like a lot of money for such a little item, but I feel like I've reached my time with Louis Vuitton where I want more pieces that are unique and hard to find and not available to everybody. And I really felt like this piece is that item that I'm looking for. And so this is the newest piece to my collection. I'll do another video on what fits inside and how I plan to wear it besides putting it on my bag like this. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.